Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. At its core, Concord is a 5v5 first-person shooter but we set out to make it play like nothing else out there. We were kind of craving a new experience and we wanted to come into the genre space and provide a different option than what was out there. And we felt like we had the ideas and the drive to find something new. We ended up blending strong action, great gunplay, movement, unique character abilities with this concept of mid-match strategy you might find in fighting games and even pre-match strategy that you might find in deck building games. We're taking a different approach to character selection and role definition. We wanted to build a game where players could choose the characters they want to play and have those be viable in the combat space. You can see that across the board, even in the way we approached our healing characters. You don't have to have them. They can absolutely win rounds, but you can also win rounds without them on your team because their primary output is still at its core a damage game. They're still able to win fights and encounters that in other games a healer may not be able to win. It's about building the crew that you want, designing the strategies that you want, but we don't want to force it. If you want to main a character, yeah, go ahead. You can do that. The game supports it but we also want to entice you to think about different options. The idea of crew bonuses is to give you incentives to try different characters. And as you do, you build up extra abilities round over round. You want to run faster? Okay, deploy the characters that give you that crew bonus. If you want to you know, have better aim, deploy those characters that give you that crew bonus. And so if you're thinking at that level, this whole new strategic front opens up in the game. One of the things that's new for Concord is deployables, and they're persistent. They last between rounds. If you live and die, they'll still be there. You can round one decide to place a heal dome or a healing pad or make a fungus highway, and then three rounds later, you yourself can take advantage of that deployable that you placed in round one. The most exciting thing we can do in a character-based shooter is have more characters. Launch a new character, and we're gonna be doing that on a regular cadence. That takes a lot of work and a lot of time to get those just right. And that's where the idea of variants came in. Variants are just a way for us to take heroes and make them more interesting as we move forward. Variants, what they are, is a tweak to an existing character. You like running and gunning, all right, you're, you're a Teo player. There's a variant of Teo that gives you an additional grenade. It seems like a small thing, but those little changes really change up how the game plays, and that plays into how Crew Builder works. Crew Builder lets you create multiple lineups with the characters and variants that you already have. Over time, you're gonna have a lot of characters and a lot of variants, and you can really be thinking about the strategies you wanna deploy. Has that feeling of, of putting together a deck of cards that has certain effects on the way the game plays out, especially as you move into our rivalry modes where you build a crew for very succinct play reasons and then play that out to victory or defeat and then go back and redesign it and try again. At the launch of Concord, you're gonna get 16 characters, you're gonna get 12 maps, six modes, entire set of stories for season zero. You're gonna get the lore experience, the galactic guide. You're gonna get multiple progression paths, one for your account, one for each character. But that's really the beginning. We're gonna keep going with all of those experiences and all of those stories in season one and beyond. We want to provide all of this exciting seasonal content, new maps, new modes, new characters, new variants, additional progression chases, quality of life additions. You're not gonna have to pay more for those things. You're not gonna have to buy a battle pass. Additionally, we are gonna launch a cosmetic only store that's gonna give you some additional options on top of all of that free content where you can customize your character further. We're excited to be on this journey with players to keep growing the universe of Concord and to expand our gameplay experiences. The possibility space of what Concord will become is super exciting and we can't wait to start the adventure together soon.
ション。